Good day, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Tropics Topics. Of course, this is Mika. How are you all doing? Hope you are all keeping safe. Remember to wear your mask, sanitize, wash your hands with soap and water as much as possible. So, the world-renowned Usain St. Leo Bolt OJ CD, the fastest man on earth, wasn't able to outrun the coronavirus. We wish him all the best. I hope he is able to beat this virus in the end, and I'm sure he will. So, the former sprinter and world record holder in the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 4x1 relay recently celebrated his birthday on August 21st, 2020, where he was having a lot of fun. I hope everyone there is safe and they did not contract this virus. So the Commissioner of Police, Major General Anthony Bertram Anderson, tested positive for the COVID-19, getting this result on August 22, 2020. I wish him as well speedy recovery. In other news, the Ministry of Health, Dr. Christopher Tufton, presented the latest update in the COVID-19 in Jamaica as of August 23, 2020. Take a look. So today, the August 23rd, 2020, the past 24 hours, the country has recorded uh, 116 new samples that have tested positive for COVID-19. That's in the last 24 hours. The total number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Jamaica is now 1,529. The newly confirmed cases are 68 females and 48 males with ages ranging from 17 to 85 years. 85 years. The cases were recorded in Kingston and St. Andrew. 51 in St. Thomas, 10 in St. Catherine, 37, in Clarendon, 7, in St. Elizabeth, 1, in Hanover, 1, in St. Anne, 2, in St. Mary, 2, in Manchester, 4, and in Westmoreland, 1. Five of the new cases are contacts of confirmed cases. One was imported from the United Kingdom. 110 of these cases are under investigation. And <clears throat> this, of course, means significant work in contact tracing, which would have commenced once we determined the actual status of this sample, so which would have started as of now, today. In terms of recoveries, two additional cases have recovered and been released from care, and total recoveries are now at 819. 71% of patients were repatriated, 71 patients, sorry, were repatriated to their countries of origin. And there are now 622 or 40.7% active cases currently under observation. There are four 
moderately ill patients and four critically ill patients at this point in time. Thanks for watching. Do remember to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell.